Hi everybody and welcome to lesson four in our color theory class. This is our last lesson and we are going to be learning all kinds of things. I'm so excited about it because today instead of going through a regular presentation like we have been, I'm going to be walking you through three different websites that will help you when you are deciding on color palettes for your cards. So let's get going. The first site that I want to show you is called Unsplash.com. Now Unsplash is not a color palette site, but it's a photography site. And I want to show it to you because it is a great source of inspiration. These images that are on here are freely put on here by the photographers themselves and you can use them without any copyright problems. So if you do anything with graphics like you have a blog or you have anything else that you do with online graphics, you can use these pictures anywhere and everywhere you want. So I will be putting a description of all of these places and the links to them in the description underneath this video. So you need to open up the little down arrow and then you probably will have to even click on more because it doesn't show very much when it first opens up. And down in that area of the description, I'll have all these links so you don't have to worry about writing them down. And in there, I will also have two additional sites, Pixabay and Pexels that are also both freely usable images. So you want to keep those on hand because that way you don't have to worry about using any photographs that you might get off Google or somewhere that are copyrighted and you can get in trouble for that. So I wanted to show you these because I get inspiration from them. So this first one and my favorite is called Unsplash. And here you can just go ahead and put whatever you want in here. You can put colors, you can put a description of what you want. And I wanted to look for some fall pictures. And here it will bring all these pictures up of all different kinds of things that you can download and you can use. So it doesn't make any difference what you search for, there are hundreds, if not thousands of pictures that fit those descriptions, whatever you might search for. And here there's some other related searches over here like autumn, and it'll just bring up different pictures. And across here you can see fall backgrounds or uh, pumpkin, Thanksgiving. You can click on that and it will bring up all kinds of pictures about that particular subject. So isn't that cool? What I like to look at this for is just inspiration. If I'm kind of stuck and I don't know what I want to do on a card, like I might look at this and say, well, I'm not going to put plates and knives on a card, but I can look at these colors and think, whoa, I really would like to use that color scheme for my card. And that's exactly what we're going to do on the websites that I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to click here to download it. And I'm going to close this. Click on this, it will open it up for me. And I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. I'm gonna put it on my desktop just simply because I wanna be able to find it fast. And I'll call it Thanksgiving. We're going to go explore all three of these websites and I'll show you what you can do with the picture once we get there. So the first website is Adobe Color. Adobe Color starts when you open it up with an actual color wheel. When you look at their color wheel, you look at this middle circle here that has the little white triangle in it. That is your main color and it coordinates with the central color down here on the color palette with the little white triangle. You can change your main color by just swinging it around. So if you want to make a green card and you want to use, let's see, that color green, really bright, you just swing around this middle circle and you can choose whatever you want. I really don't like that green, so I'm going to go back over here and uh, let's pick 
blue. So now this blue is the same as the middle blue down on the color palette. Over here on the left, you see all the color harmonies. Remember how we did color harmonies in lesson two? Well, here is a lot of them, the ones that we studied as well as some that we did not. And all you have to do is say, okay, I want to use this color blue as my main color. And right now it's on analogous. So this color scheme right here below the circle is an analogous color harmony that works with that blue. Let's check monochromatic. Remember what monochromatic means? All different shades or tints of that particular blue. Triad. Remember triad means that these three colors are separated equally around the wheel. Complementary. Remember that complementary means being straight across from each other on the color wheel. Split complementary. And then they have all these others that we haven't even looked at. So this is a great way to just experiment with the color wheel. You can move it anywhere you want and the closer you get to the center the more it's tense and the closer you get out to the outside the more it is the hues and it's just really fun to play with. So I encourage you to come on here and play with this because it really is so much fun. Now the next choice on the Adobe Color site is Explore. And Explore is where you can actually enter in a color or anything you want description. Here they say search with colors, moods, or keywords like ocean, wine, moonlight, lucky, water. Since we searched Unsplash for fall colors, why don't we just put fall colors in here? Now it will come up with color palettes that all are fall colors. Look at how many choices you have of fall colors that all go together. Some have pictures and some don't, but you can see all these choices. And you can go through here and see, oh, I really like that combination. I would never have thought of that combination, but that's what I'm going to use. Now, remember, we did say that for the most part with cards, we tend to use about three colors in our color palette. It gets to be a little bit crowded if we use more than that. But look at all these wonderful ideas. Now I'm going to show you what to do with the picture. Two of our sites actually do this very same thing. This is the first one. See this camera over here? It says upload a photo. So I'm going to take my camera and upload off of my desktop our Thanksgiving picture. I'm just going to click on it and it will upload it and guess what? It's going to give me color palettes based on that picture. There's the picture and it's going to bring up all kinds of color palettes based on that particular picture and the colors that are in it. How cool is that? Okay, the next thing we can go to is trends. I love this. This is so much fun. They have all kinds of areas where you can explore. There's fashion, graphic design, illustration, architecture, game design, wilderness, flavor like in foods, travel. And all you need to do is look in a particular subject. Let's see, let's do flavor just for fun. So we just click down here on view more and look at all of these great color palettes that are based on foods. And these are trending color palettes in food magazines and things like that. So you can explore so many things and get inspiration from this. It's just awesome all the opportunities that you have on this and then it has libraries and you can actually save palettes that you like. See here it gives you a choice to either add to your library or download as a JPEG. So you can download it to your computer or you can save it in your library on Adobe Color.
So is that not wonderful? That's so many fun things to look at. Well, this next one that we're going to look at is actually called coolers. Now you see here it's C-O-O-L-O-R-S, two O's instead of one right here. When you open up coolers, you're going to see the trending color palettes. Once again, thousands of color palettes to look at where you can find lots and lots of concepts and ideas that you might want to try. Well, there's so much more on here. Let's go to more and do color picker. Color picker, whoa, look at this bright green yellow. You can either add a number in here, which is one of the codes that they use for web-based color, which we aren't getting into in this class, or you can go over here and just pick a color. And I think I want blue, and I think I want to go around and see what I like. I can move this around. Ooh, I like that. Let's choose that. It's called Liberty, and here's the code for it in case we were wanting to use it for an online source. But check this out. Remember when we talked about shades and tints and tones? We said that a shade is when black is added to a, a hue, and a tint is when white is added to a hue, and a tone is created when gray is added. Look, it already has all these, and if you particularly like one of these colors, it will give you the code for that as well. Isn't that cool? Now, keep on going down because here's color harmonies. Triadic, split complementary, tetradic, square, and there's complementary up here too, and analogous. So all of those color harmonies that we talked about, if you pick one main color, look at it'll give you a color harmony that goes with it. Now this section is for graphic designers for the web so that they can see whether people who have color blindness can see the colors that they choose. But once you scroll down past that, it has color libraries. Now check this out. As part of their color libraries, they have Copics and they have Prismacolor. So if you have Prismacolor pencils or you have Copic markers, it will tell you the closest number to that color. Now look, this isn't even very close. So what that means is that Prismacolor really does not have a matching color. But if they did, it would give you the number. And this is the number of Prismacolor pencil that is closest to the color that I picked. Check this out though with Copics, they actually do have Iris B79. It's very close to the color that I chose up here at the top of this page. So isn't that cool? Now we're going to do one more thing on here. There's so many others for you to, to uh, check, but we're going to do the pick palette from photo because this is the same thing that we did over on the Adobe Color. And we're going to take our image. We're going to upload it. I thought that this was the case. On search here, you can actually, it takes you to Unsplash. And you can search right here for any photos that you want off of Unsplash. But we're going to go ahead and upload our image. Here's our Thanksgiving image. And it uploads it. And on here, what I really like about it is that you can pick your own palette. So if I'm wanting to have three colors, it starts with five, but I can limit it down to three here using this minus sign. And what I can do is, oh, I really like this brown, but I don't think I want it as my primary color. And the first color is the primary color. So I'm going to move this around and I'm going to choose this beautiful teal. If I can get a good shot of it. There we go, this beautiful teal for my main color. So once you pick your main color, then you're going to go up here and switch to the middle one. And you're going to pick another color as your background, your first background color. So I think I like that. And then you'll switch to the third one. And I think I like this orange. I think that is really pretty. So there's my palette.
and I made it from the image that I picked on Unsplash that I really liked, that inspired me. So what did I do to make this happen? I went to Unsplash, I searched for fall images or Thanksgiving, I don't remember what exactly I searched for. I found this image and the colors in it spoke to me. So I thought, well, how am I gonna use those colors? What am I gonna do about that? Okay, I imported it here to coolers by checking up here, let me show you on the menu again, by checking more and pick palette from photo. So I did that, it gave me an opportunity to unload my picture and I did and this is where it brought me to. I lowered the number of palette images here to three colors instead of five colors and then I have this palette. Now it will also do other palettes for you that it picks just in case you want to uh, to check out anything else but I like what I picked here and so you have a choice either to browse another image or you can export this I want to export it as create collage so look what this does it has my picture and it has the colors that I chose and then you can choose which way you want it to be displayed. I like that way. So then all you have to do is export it. I'm going to put it into my, save it right on my desktop again as a JPEG on my desktop and put Thanksgiving collage and then I have the picture right here already and now I'm going to have this palette put right on my desktop. Okay I wanted to show you what I would do to be able to pick out ink colors according to the palette that we made. So just as an example I pulled up on the web here the Altenew Crisp Dye Ink color swatches and I wanted to show you how much this top color matches the Galactic Stream ink. So this is what I would do for all three colors. I would go through the color swatches and choose the colors that match this palette the closest. And then I would have the inks that I would use on my Thanksgiving card. And I just love these colors, so I am looking forward. I think I will make a card with these colors and see how it turns out. The last website that I want to show you is called colorpalettes.net and it has thousands of color palettes on here. There are several ways to sort them and I want to show you the basic ways. One is warm palettes and it says right here you just click on it and it will bring up all kinds of warm color tone palettes. It's taking a while to load but there you go you can see that. Cool palettes wait for that to load and you can see there's pages and pages of these I'm just showing you the first page of each one you can look there's 92 pages of cool palettes so that's a lot of color choices pastel palettes here we go There are 267 pages of pastel palettes. Let's pick page 5 and see what happens. Look at all those wonderful palettes. Okay, and there's contrasting palettes. Then over here you see these, these color cubes here, these squares of color, and let's say you wanted a pink palette. You can just click on the pink and it'll bring up all different shades of pink palettes for you. If you want to do two colors, you just pick 
two colors right here and then you can go ahead and choose your two colors if I want green and pink I'll press pick up and it will show me palettes that have some kind of green and some kind of pink in them and there's 67 pages of that let's look at this palette for a minute and if you notice down here it gives you lots and lots of descriptive words called tags underneath. So it says dark green, dark pink, delicate pink, lilac color, olive color, pale olive color, pastel shades of lilac, and it goes on and on and on. So you can save this palette to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or you can share it with someone. Or let's say you're thinking, oh, I really like you know, I, I really like the delicate pink. You can go up here to the menu, click on the menu, and it'll say all tags. And that's all those words. So you could either, this is in alphabetical order, so you can either scroll down till you find the delicate pink, or you can scroll down and look for whatever you want to. So, for instance, in the workshop that we did live, we looked up Christmas. So, here it is right here, Christmas palette. And it shows you that there's 32 different palettes for Christmas. So, if I click on that, here it will bring up all of the Christmas color palettes. If you wanted to pick a palette for your, for your Christmas cards, or for a Christmas party, whatever. There's 32 Christmas palettes on here. So that is so much fun to play around with. So you've got the Adobe Color site that has the color wheel where you can explore with your own picture or descriptions trends where you can explore flat fashion or travel or all those different other things and your libraries where you can save palettes for yourself you've got the coolers site where we did our own color palette from a photo and you have the colorpalettes.net site which has thousands of color palettes already done and don't forget that all of the links to these are down below in the description so that you can click on them yourself and save the sites. I'm hoping that by giving you these, it will open up your world to being able to pick colors that you wouldn't normally pick, to choose things that are risky to you and not the same old things that you're always using, and that by understanding the color theory that we studied in the first three lessons that you will now be able to step out and just have fun playing with color experimenting taking risks and and enjoying a new adventure in the world of color i've been so excited to share this material with you i hope it blesses you i hope that you can use it Please add a comment down below so I'll know what you thought of the class and like it if you did like it with the thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.